morning, dear classmates and friends. We are going to learn the following paragraph of the pure conduct together today. When receiving the Acharya's teaching, I vow that sentient beings will possess all inspiring deportment and be true in what they do. And we all know if our Bodhisattvas skillfully apply their minds, then they will attain all kinds of excellent and five meritorious virtues. Applying their minds skillfully, that is, they can dedicate to their vows according to their wisdom, whether they meet with anything or anybody or any state. All kinds of excellent and fine meritorious virtues, that is, all the questions asked by foremost with them Buddhistable. How do we make good use of our minds? We have been told in the obscure preserve future that the power of our vows creates oral karma. Which is the same as practicing by mouth, or which is the same as saying that it is practiced by the mouth. So, how do we make good use of our mind specifically? Manjushri Bodhisattva tells us that when we are taught by a standard teacher, we should make good use of our minds and vow to have the ability to perfect all the majesty, to have all the majesty, to do every bit of goodness. We should also vow to be truthful in what we do. That is, everything we do is true and not false, not hypocritical and not flattering. Then, after making the vows in this way, the causes of karma are created and the seeds are formed, and together with the excellent ariser of the conditions of the mentor, we can quickly bear fruit, and it is inevitable that one can diligently cultivate good roots and give up all obstructive offenses. Why is it when vowing that sentient beings will, and not when vowing that I myself will? Because it is a hell and a more supernatural cause. When vowing that I myself will is only one cause for you. Even a not dramatic seed sower is to sow seeds one by one. But when vowing that sentient beings will is that you have created a course of oral karma for all sentient beings, and the course where form seeds, and that together with the automatic seed sower, you are to sow unlimited seeds automatically at the same time. So you can achieve faster and complete or perfect the universal Dedication in Buddhism. Please remember the dedication only for or to or sanctioned beings is just called dedication. We have already known that supreme wisdom and usually Bodhisattva teaches us the summer of making good use of our minds. Not only is this the case with the supreme wisdom Manjushri Bodhisattva, but also the flower adornment sutra also tells us that all Buddha deeds begin with the great vows and all the actions practiced by Bodhisattvas begin with the dedication. To dedicate your merit to your vows is the door without the door of the dedication. We cannot enter the palace hall of Buddhism. We also need to be clear at all times that it is a never view to calculate results without cause. If we not have the cause of perfecting all the majesty, 
we cannot have all the majesty to do every point well. If we do not have the cause of being true in what we do, we cannot do what is true. But on the contrary, it is false and flattering. Moreover, we have not e eliminated all the impediments of all of afflictions and the impediments of having been known. When being taught by a standard teacher, you can vow that all sentient beings will possess all the majesty to do every bit, and be true and not false in what they do. I vow that all sentient beings will eternally remember and think. Pure conduct is the door to rapid achievement, the perfect pain, good karma, and is more flexible than the precepts, and not as serious as the precepts. If it is extended to the ten dedications, it can make one even achieve the Buddha's path. That's all for this lesson. Thank you for listening and attention. See you next time.